Today, I believe the title was, it's okay to remove things from your life. And I know at times, we keep things in our life that we love. We have habits in our life that we like. We have people that we care so much about. But sometimes those people don't care for us. Sometimes those habits don't serve us. And we keep these things in our life because we're so afraid to move forward without these things. Now, I had somebody the other day tell me, Trent, I would rather stay in a known pain than move into the unknown because I don't know what the unknown may bring. It might bring bread, it might be worse, but at least I know what I got. Listen, if you have that mindset, you got to burn that bridge because staying in the pain that's ruining your life will do nothing for your future. And sometimes it's people, sometimes it's yourself, sometimes it's your mindset, sometimes it's your habits, sometimes it's your health. You know, people say don't burn bridges, I disagree. There's certain bridges that you have to burn because there's certain things, my friends, that your life cannot afford to go back to. What are the things in your life that's tearing your life apart that you're holding on to? Maybe because you're hoping that things will change. Maybe you think because, you know, giving another chance will make things different. I'm not telling you what to do because you have to live with your decision. But some of us have been saying next time for the last 30 times. Some of us are expecting something to change that doesn't want to change. Some of us are expecting something different that hasn't made any difference in their own life or in your life. And so it comes to the point where you have to wake up and realize that the only things that can hold you back, the only things that can stay in your life are the things that you allow to. And you become a product of the things that you tolerate. You become a product of the things that you settle for. You become a product of the things that you allow in your life. You know, I was thinking about this today because I didn't want to come in the gym. It's cold. But I said, you know, I have an option. I have an option. I have a choice. And the reality is that some of us are in a place that we don't want to be in because of our choices or because of the choices that we're afraid to make because of the decisions. You know, I tell myself all the time, when you don't make a decision, life makes a decision for you. Indecision is still a decision. Indecision is still a decision. And the problem that we have is that we keep the wrong options open. But I want to share something that I believe is life changing. You know, we all have options in life. You know, there's always at least two ways we can go. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four. And too often, we always choose the option. Maybe that's the easiest or it's the most convenient or the most familiar that doesn't lead our life to a better place. That doesn't help us with our self-worth. That doesn't help us build self-esteem in our life. And we choose that option. Some of us choose the option not to believe in ourselves because something presented that. Maybe life presented that. Maybe somebody told you you weren't enough and you believe that option. Just as well you have the option to believe that, you have the option not to believe it. You know, some of us in a health journey, we have the option to indulge in things that don't help us live healthier. We have the option to be lazy. We have the option not to move our body. And some of us choose that option. We walk down that path, we get surprised with what that path brings, but we chose that option. Just like you have that option, you have the same option to indulge in good habits. You have the same option, right, to go move your body, even when you don't feel like it. We all have options. And the options that you choose will reflect on your growth, will reflect on your progression, will reflect in your future every single day. Listen to me when I say this. Whew. Every single day, you're planting seeds. You're planting seeds of limitation. You're planting seeds of struggle. Are you planting seeds of progression? Are you planting seeds of faith? Are you planting seeds of doubt? Are you planting seeds of perseverance? Are you planting seeds of hope? Every single day you plant seeds. So I want you to be very conscious of the options that are presented to you. You might say, Trent, this is my only option. Forget that mindset. It's not your only option. I know it may seem like it, but you have the option not to surrender. Just as well as you have the option to surrender. You have the option to give up. Just as well you have the option not to give up. You got the option to stay down. Just as well as you have the option to pop back up. You got the option not to believe in yourself. Just as well as you got the option to believe in yourself. You got the option to not show up for your kids. Just as well as you got the option to show up for your family. You got the option to keep your dream a dream. 
just as well as you got the option to turn that dream into reality. Am I saying that it's easy? Absolutely not. But am I saying it's impossible? Absolutely not. The only impossibilities that exist are the ones, my friend, that you create. This is not no motivational crap. This is the truth. So when you leave here today, be aware of the options. Be aware of the things that you're choosing. Ask yourself this simple question. This simple question that creates so much progression and greatness in your life or keep you stagnant in the place that you hate. This simple question. Is this leading me closer to the person that I want to be? Is this leading me closer to the peace that I want to experience in my soul? Is this leading me closer to the mindset that's going to conquer me through any challenges that step up? Or is it leading me further away from it? Life is about choices, my friends. And I've said this a million times and I'll say it a million more. You, 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 yes, you, don't look around, you are always in control of what you accept. You're always in control of what this is going to mean to you. You're always in control of how you water the seeds in your life. You are. As much as you think you're not, as much as you see everything working against you, you have that same option, my friend, to see all those things working for you. As much as you can see everything that's being unfair, you can see and have the option that maybe everything is working out in a way that might go against your plans, but it's the plans for your purpose in your life. Trent, how do you know these things? Because I'm a living testimony. I'm a living witness of it. There's nothing easy about coming in here and taking care of my health. Nothing easy about coming on here, going live and pouring into you guys. Nothing easy about doing the right things and trying to be better. Nothing easy about it. But you got to choose your heart. You can choose a heart that you know is going to stay that way for the rest of your life by keeping those bridges in your life that need to be burned, by keeping those people in your life that need to be removed, by keeping those habits in your life that don't serve your life, by keeping that mindset that's kept you in the same place and you're expecting to get to new levels with the same old habits, you can keep those bridges or you can burn those bridges. You can build bridges of faith, bridges of confidence, bridges of courage, bridges of strength, bridges of peace, bridges of perseverance, bridges of resi resilience, bridges, bridges of joy. That option is there for you too. You have the option. And I just hope and, and hope and pray that you start choosing the greatness that's inside of you. You know, turn the noise down in the world. The noise has been telling you so much outside of you because some of us, our whole life has allowed everything outside of us to control everything inside of us. I want you to disconnect and I want you to reevaluate your life. And every time a situation comes up, you ask yourself that magic question. Is this leading me closer to it? Or is this leading me further from it? And you're going to make mistakes. We all do. We're going to choose the wrong thing sometimes. But when you become self-aware of your choices, that's when your life grows the most. Let's get it.